hello guys welcome back um before continuing on to the video i just wanted you guys to note that i broke this tutorial down into three different videos because i didn't want the video to be extremely long so this there will be three steps um and three different videos so just continue watching thank you guys welcome back as you can tell by the title this video is going to be a tutorial um on how i do custom weed trays um if you already didn't know um usually only the people that know this is who follow me on instagram i had started a little um small business with um selling weed tray sets obviously yeah i had I have stopped right now because I am in school. That was just a little activity and something I got into. Well, I'm not gonna say like, that was just something I got into when I stopped. I am most definitely gonna start back up again. But um, I started that little business because that wasn't all that I was selling. I was also selling um, glam bags, which that's gonna be a whole nother um, video where I'm gonna be talking about overall what I, um, I'm selling the products I'm selling but yeah we're talking about weed trays right now so yeah um I was I'm in school so I had to like put that a little bit on the back burner but I'm going back to it but um I wanted just to focus on one thing at a time because it was you know it was just a lot going on like by me being in uh, starting college and stuff like that it is really hot out here it's the summer um, I'm in the garage as you could tell because I'm gonna be showing you some things that can't be done inside the house so I had to come out here and my mom doesn't like the, the freaking garage open because she say a lot of stuff getting inside but I don't care I'm finna because I'm finna suffocate in here and it's really really hot so I'm gonna have to lift that up so um yeah um let's get into the video right now I'm gonna just be showing you some of um some of the previous ones I've done already um, I'm gonna insert clips of ones that I have um, done, but I've sold them. I don't have them with me now, but I do have a few that I still have with me right now that I'm gonna show to you guys. Then after I show you guys those, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that you would need to do this. These are ones, this is some ones that I did and I actually haven't gave them theirs yet. And I don't know if they, subscribe to my channel where they're gonna see this but this is one um i custom i custom made this one for him and i put his name that he wanted he actually didn't want it specifically like this i had found out he had wanted it wrapped in the hundred dollar bill so i had um i didn't do the instructions correctly but that's how he wanted it but this is it still turned out nice um like I said, I'm going to insert the clips here and there. Oh, I hope this camera don't be jiggling all the time. That's aggravating. So, I did this one also. This is like for a girl. And yeah, those are the only two that I have. I just recently sold one of them. Um, and I gave one to my mom's friend. So yeah. So these are the only two that I have, like, that I um, held on to. So besides that, I have these that I already like spray painted it, but I don't have any images on them. So I just spray painted it, but I just, I think this was during the time that I started and I kind of like stopped doing them. Cause yeah, like I like this one, this was an accident how I made if you don't if you see what I mean like this this was an accident and it just came out like that I thought it was really cute but I have about two three four five six six that's already spray painted so yeah they just need images so I do and then what I am gonna do now is like I make some that's not custom made like people like not giving me orders so I make one that's like I came up with the image or I printed out the image and I just put them on the tree myself I do that also so yeah 
so today we're going to be working well this is going to be an example so basically this is how the tray the standard tray look without being spray painted um oh it was something i wanted to say but i think i'm gonna just say it at the end when i'm finished with everything so i can like explain to y'all like another reason why i stopped because i came up with an idea so yeah now we're going to get into the things that you would need to create this so before i continue i would also like to say um there's plenty of ways of doing this but this is just the way that i do it so i don't know this is the way i taught myself to do it and it's like i still needed but when i was first starting i still needed some areas of, of improvement doing these but i feel like now i know i'm gonna know how to do it when i get back to starting to do it so the first thing you would need is your images so in this folder i have like all the images that i personally printed out um i also had like three people this is a bad business person y'all do not judge me i had three people that um <laughs> they didn't purchase it but they said they wanted it so i was gonna work on it and then like you know complete it and see if i did it correctly um before they had paid but you know we don't do things free yeah but um uh -huh. but yeah so i have three um three images in here that i still never completed so okay so for example these are some of them right here i have this this and my you guys some of this stuff this was someone's that wanted um some gamer i don't know who it was but yeah and then this was something I was going to do like that. One thing, like I said, everybody does it differently, but I just use my printer and I print out the images. Um, some people do it differently with the images, um, in, like as far as the images. And these are some other little, because I was supposed to do one for my aunt. I still haven't done hers, but I'm going to, I'm going to get to yours, auntie, okay? So these are like little sayings and little cute little images like this. This is one. But by me starting back, I think the way I'm gonna do the trays now are differently and I'm gonna tell you guys what I mean by I'm gonna do it differently. So I'm not gonna be using these images. I probably will use some of them like pieces, but I'm gonna do them differently. I really liked it, this one. And I was like, I'm going to, I don't know, Cause look, it has like all the different ones. Um, I really like this one. I think this is the one we're gonna be doing for today. This and I know I had a few more. Ooh. I have the Rick and Morty, but this was too small, so I can't use that for the for the tray. Um, the Jamaican flags. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, but some of them that I printed out, it was just too too small. Um, I don't know which one are we gonna do today. I don't know if I should do the one for my sister. Um, my sister wanted one, so and I didn't get to doing hers. I don't know if I should do hers today or just do something simple because she has words that she wants. to Put it on there i think I'll get, i'm gonna do hers another day so we're just gonna do an image that i've already printed out that i liked because i don't wanna do hers right now so i don't know which one should i do should i do this image or should i do this one i don't know i think we'll do this one we'll do this one too. okay so now when i like you know my folder of the pictures and stuff like that some people and this is another thing this is why i said i'm going to start when i start back up i'm going to do it the right way um i would prefer doing like you know going to cvs walgreens one of those places and printing an actual photo this is what i i would, I would advise you guys to do to print an actual photo you know like a, like the photo photo the glossy photo 
um i don't know what it's called but yeah you know what i mean where you like develop photos and stuff like that you go to cvs and stuff i will do that instead because i noticed when i it's not bad but it also depends on how much epoxy you use and how you apply it to the tray because sometimes with the paper it seeps through and it just looks a little messy so i would advise you guys to use the actual photo but we're gonna see how this one goes so it's not like i didn't tell you guys because you know when i start back up my business that's what i'm gonna be using instead of uh the paper but we're gonna see how this goes now we're gonna get into the i like the things you need i keep on saying that but that's what i meant <laughs> so the first thing would be the epoxy you could get this from i would advise you to get it I, where did i get this from oh i got this from michael's i tried walmart they didn't have it um but you can do walmart depends but the walmart that i that i that's located where i'm at um they didn't have it and so i advise you to go to like a craft store and get your epoxy um this is the amazing clear cast. It has the two part clear coating and the casting um, resign. I think that's, I'm saying that right? So it's two bottles that come inside of it. So that's it. And then the Mod Podge. Okay guys, this was a new thing that I really appreciated that uh, I got this one from Walmart. It's like four almost five dollars um if you guys see mod podge uh you might be thinking of the the glue that's in the bottle but this wasn't in the bottle this one is actually the spray and then when you apply it it's very runny like it runs so it's like i like i like it but at the same time i don't because it sticks very well, like how, you know, the regular, like, gluey, gooey glue out of the bottle sticks, but it just runs too much, and it makes a little too much mess, uh, too much of a mess, so, I don't know, I don't think we're gonna use this today, I think I'm gonna be using the regular glue stick, just the basic, but I just wanted to try it, and I've tried it, and I don't know, my mom says she thinks this is the, this is better than the actual, um, the actual glue. So, um, over here, let me see if I can turn it down. Excuse the background, that's my mom's furniture stuff. But over here is like the little bin that I keep in the garage because I usually have to do this stuff. If it's involved spray painting or like the Mod Podge, I have to do it inside the garage. So these are my, these are all the different um, spray paints I have. I'm sorry if the thing is jiggling. So I have just this few. Like I said, I had just started off like, just something small. This is the little, uh, what is it called? Plastic that you lay down so it don't mess up like anything because it's really that, the spray paint is like really like, you know. So yeah, usually I have a little rack over there um, where when I spray paint all the trays, I lay it on there, lay it out, and it dries, it dries overnight. So that's a good thing. Um, I get the spray paint from Walmart. So, obviously, like, you need your cups for your, um, epoxy. Um, then you'll need your sticks. These are the little sticks that I use to mix them up. See, guys, where I go wrong with this is when I'm mixing the epoxy, like, the epoxy up. Like, it's like I pour too much and then I pour two less sometimes and it don't turn out completely right. But now that I'm kind of like aware of how I was making the mistake and now I think I could do it. So it's like you have to pour, when you're pouring the epoxy, I'm gonna show you guys, you gotta make sure you're pouring an equal amount, an equal amount, okay? And then it will turn out right how you want it to. So like I said, I'm gonna be using this glue stick we're not gonna i'm just gonna show you guys how i spray paint it. so okay, okay guys if you stay tuned and watch the part two the part two will be showing how i spray paint the tray and how i um place the image 
on the tray.